Hey everybody, this is Coach D with TackleTrading.com here to talk to you about trend lines. Now trend lines are really simple. You don't want to overthink them. A trend line can be drawn on any two pivot points. Now a pivot point is just where the price goes from down to up or from up to down, changing directions and establishing a price pivot. Now here I've drawn a handful of pivot points on the bottoms of the trend, uh, you can see we're seeing higher highs and higher lows in the price action. And I've circled a handful of pivots. Well, if I can connect those, I can connect the dots and forecast out a trend line. You can see that the stock price is pulled down to the trend line, and that would be an area where we might consider it a time to buy when we, got, when we get confirmation. So an upward trend line or a downward trend line can be used to forecast out and potentially identify trade setups. Now, trend lines are used in many, many, many ways for analysis to help us identify what stage of the trend we're in. And there's, you know, minor, intermediate, and major trend lines, and even primary big long-term trends. Anytime, again, you can connect two or more pivot points, you can forecast out a trend channel or a trend line. Same for downtrends. Here's a little minor downtrend within the context of an uptrend. Here you can see a lot stronger intermediate uptrend, nice, clean, connecting the dots on the bottom, support, 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 draw that trend line up. It even works on the big macro scale here where you can draw your trend lines on the big pivots and forecast out long-term trends, even long-term channels, which is really cool. Now, if you do use trend lines, you're going to want to learn how to draw them correctly. Again, you connect the dots and you forecast that out in the future. Now, if you're doing a downtrend, you want to connect it on the tops. You want to forecast out down the tops. And again, that gives you an area where you might expect some future selling pressure in that trend zone. And again, you can use the channel, the bottom of the channel for targeting and things of that nature. So trend lines are primarily used for identifying the trends. Two, for identifying trade setups, like identifying trading opportunities, we look to buy at the bottom of trend lines and at the top of trend lines we look to sell. And then the last thing we use trend lines for is targeting, really identifying how far we think the stock might go by forecasting out uh, the, the top of the channel or the bottom of the channel in a downtrend and give us, giving us an idea of how far price might go according to the past trend. Now you have a clear understanding of trend lines and we look forward to seeing you guys hanging out with us in the clubhouse.